The classic passage in which Alice goes down the rabbit hole. Apparently one of the earliest examples of a fantasy portal in literature has captivated generations of readers, so much so that it has become a popular everyday expression, describing someone who bravely or recklessly takes the plunge into the unknown, hopefully emerging from their experience much stronger and wiser. But is it possible that the transition from the normal world to the fantasy world in Carol's timeless tale might have been based on actual real world events? Such as when a wealthy gentleman, Francis Foster, accidentally chanced upon the Margate Caves after discovering a small hole at the foot of a pear tree on his estate which he believed might hold the key to the disappearance of his pet rabbits. That story appeared in a number of newspaper articles that came out in 1863, some time before Lewis Carroll's original manuscript was completed. Is it just pure coincidence? Or is it just possible that Lewis Carroll had heard about this story? In 1797, in the beautiful Mendip Hills of Somerset, a rabbit hotly pursued by two hungry hunters took refuge in a rocky crevice, which turned out to be the entrance to a 10,000-year-old burial chamber. The oldest one of its kind in the UK so far. You'll never look at a cute Easter bunny in the same way again. Thank you for watching my video and please feel free to leave a comment and feedback. Now that you see that video, you might want to click on these other cardboard adventures.